Alright, alright guys, welcome back to another video. Guys, it is Sunday dessert time and I got a treat for you guys here today. This is a nice, good, simple and easy pear cobbler. Use me some already pre-made pie crust. Little cinnamon sugar, brown sugar. This thing is going to be so easy to put together. So let's jump into this video and I'll show you exactly how I get it done. Alrighty guys, so here's my ingredients right here. I have me some pears that I bought from Costco. I think these had about six or seven in the bag. Seven in the bag. I ate one already being greedy. Then I got me some Pillsbury pie crust. Those were buy one get one free. So grab two of those. I'm going to be using a little vanilla extract. Some granulated sugar, brown sugar, cinnamon. A little corn starts to thicken it. And a little apple juice. Alrighty guys, so you can see right here, I already went ahead and uh, peeled my pears, got them cut in half. I'm not going to cut them up in chunks or whatnot. I'm going to put you through all of that peeling process. No one wants to see me peel pears, just prolonging things. <laughs> but I got my pears uh, peeled and cut in half right here. Now all I'm going to do is come and dump my sugar and light brown sugar and cinnamon in here. That's a half cup of granulated sugar, half cup of brown sugar. And you could use as much teaspoons of uh, cinnamon as you would like. I did not measure the cinnamon, guys. And I didn't measure this vanilla extract that I just added also. And I'm coming in here, putting about two tablespoons of cornstarch in here. That's going to help to thicken my juice. I don't like a lot of juice in my cobblers, guys. I like for my cobblers to be more about the fruit and the crust, not so much juice. So this is definitely not going to have a lot of juice in it. All I'm going to do now is come and give this a mix. Get all of this incorporated together. And you're going to see as I start mixing this, it's going to instantly start making its uh, own juice. And these are soft pears, guys. These aren't the uh, hard pears that a lot of people are used to. These pears are nice and soft. So I'm not going to even have to boil this a little bit, cook this a little bit first. This is going to go directly in the oven. And the oven will finish soften these enough. So you can see it's already making its own juice. But I am going to come in here and add a cup of this apple juice to it to give it a little bit more liquid inside of here. You could use water if you would like, but this apple juice just adds a, another depth of flavor to it. Keeps it nice and tasty, so we're going to go ahead and get that mixed in. Alright, and this is going to be perfect for me, because like I said, I don't like a lot of juice in my cobbler so I know by the time this one is cooks cooks cooking that's going to thicken up a little bit because of that corn starch so the only thing I did now is it's coming to give it a little taste make sure I got a perfect amount of sugar and cinnamon inside of here that I like and everything tasted wonderful so I just set that aside and Pulled out my big cast iron skillet here. I'm just going to put a little butter in the bottom of this. Just to coat it so that my crust doesn't stick to the bottom. You could spray this if you would like. Alright, so once I get that nice and buttered, I'm going to come in with one of my pre-made pie crusts right here. Just roll that out and just place it right in the bottom, just like this. Nice, perfect foot. Just gonna pat that down a little bit, push it up against the sides. All right. Once we get it looking just like that, I'm gonna just dump my pear full and right on inside of here.
And we're just going to spread that out. And guys, the reason I didn't uh, cut these up into smaller pieces because they're going to cook uh, a little bit and they're going to actually shrink in size. So that's why I didn't bother to really cut them up into little smaller pieces. All right. So what I did then is I just took my second pie crust and I just really just cut it into scripts. I didn't do anything fancy with it. I just basically just put it on the countertop and cut it into scripts like this. And then we're just going to place these scripts over the top. All right. So once we got that first one down, then I took a third crust and I cut that into script also. I'm just going to place that over the top like this. No, I'm not going to do any fancy lattice design, guys, or anything. What you think? You think this is the Barefoot Contessa, huh? You think I'm eyeing a garden? <laughs> I'm not going to do any fancy lattice or anything. I'm just going to lay these scripts over the top like that. All right. See, this is going to have a lot of crust on it, guys. Just what I want. I love that crust. So once we have it like that, then I'm just going to come put a few little pads of butter over the top. That butter is going to sink down into that crust and down into that filling. And man, hmm, you talk about something going to be good, good, good. All right. So once I get a few pieces of butter over the top like that, I'm going to come in here with my cinnamon. Go back over the top like that. All right. And once I get that cinnamon over the top, I'm going to come and I'm going to put a little bit more sugar over the top also. And that is it, guys. This is going to go in the oven, uncovered just like this. 350 degrees and this is going to cook for about 35 to 40 minutes so once this is done and out of the oven i will be back all right guys i am back pea cobbler is out of the oven and look at that absolutely beautiful and i know someone is saying you put the hot Pan right on top of the marble. That's not a real marble countertop, guys. <laughs> That's not real. But this pea cobbler looks absolutely wonderful. Nice golden brown. Bubbling around the edges. I just let that thing cool down for about 10 or 15 minutes. So that I could make it a little bit manageable. I'm not going to taste, uh, taste test that hot out of the oven so after it cooled down for about 10 or 15 minutes I was about to scoop it out off camera and I said no I want to show them how nice this is coming out of the pan you can see there's not a lot of juice down in the bottom that's absolutely perfect for my liking I love me a cobbler it just has that nice fruit and crust to it I don't like a lot of juice running all over the way. All over the place, I should say. And I'm just going to come in here with my spoon and you see how nice and tender that pear is. Just scoop out some more of this. Put it on here. All right. So I finished get this together, guys, and take my thumbnails and my videos for TikTok and stuff. And I'm going to give this a taste test. Nice, good pea cobbler. Alright, alright guys. Coming in with a real quick taste test. This is my nice, good Sunday dessert. I have a pea cobbler. Got me a little bluebell ice cream on the top. I'm going to come in and I'm going to taste the cobbler first without the ice cream. That's all we're going to do. That's that crust. You guys know I like that crust. See that? Still see the steam coming off of it. 
a piece of carbon. Me and P and the crust. All right, take a test. Please don't burn me. The pea is nice and tender. Perfect amount of sugar. Brown sugar and granulated. Mm -hmm. A nice buttery crust right there. It was so good. A piece of that ice cream. Made me get choke up. <laughs> Piece of that ice cream right there. Oops. Come on, get on there. Like that. All right, guys. Gonna enjoy the rest of this. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, that is so good. Alrighty, guys. Absolutely delicious dessert. Perfect for today because it's about to start raining here. So this is absolutely wonderful. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and also leave me a comment. And please subscribe to the channel and share the channel if you could. And follow me on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, and Twitch TV. Cooking and Chilling with Kenny. And I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget the hashtag, guys. Just be a blessing to someone. Peace.